Slancher, and uh, welcome back to uh, Irish Fiddle Adventure. This is week nine. And it's also day 25 so far of lockdown. Uh, so I've had a fair amount of time to be uh, practicing the fiddle, uh, hiding up here in the studio. Uh, and uh, today I've got four tunes to play. So you one of them you've already heard me play, uh, which I'm going to round off with this swallowtail jig, just to see where that's at. Um, we've got a new jig, the Kesh jig. Uh, another jig, which is called the Irish Washerwoman, very famous and one that I fancied uh, trying. So I've heard the Dubliners play it a lot, and I think that's uh, it's a great. It's just kind of epitomises the Irish fiddle for me. And one called Tripping Up the Stairs, which has got a few aspects, a few little things in it. Um, that I'm trying out, that uh, little ornamentations that, uh, to be fair, um, the fiddle players that you watch on YouTube, they just flick them out like it's nothing. They're super tricky. Uh, so I'm going to very slowly uh, have a little go at that. Uh, but I should start off <coughs> with uh, a number called the Kesh Jig. <laughs> Tricky, there's a lot, lot, lot of movement in that one, uh, but uh, I should keep on, keep on working on it. Uh, then uh, the other jig, as I said, the Irish washerwoman. Um, <clears throat> this has got, it's got a really tricky bit where, uh, where in the second half it kind of climbs down. Uh, what does it do? So it keeps going back up to the G, but it's dropping through the fingers. At one point, I've got to have a finger covering two strings, so that is, that is tricky, um, for me anyway. But it goes a little something like this. I know that sounded pretty dreadful, pretty scrapey, and lots of uh, missed notes, but actually, uh, probably the best I've played it so far. Um, again, just one to be uh, to be working on. Um, I'll come back to Swallowtail Jig in a moment. Just going to show you this uh, tripping up the stairs. So basically, there's so there's a few things um, in the Irish stuff that um, kind of make it Irish. One of them is the lilt, uh, which um, I've added into the Swallowtail Jig slightly. Uh, but other things, there's slides, which, or slur, I don't know what they call them, uh, but uh, things like, and they sort of slide into no sort of thing. The other one is little cuts that go, which are fine when you're just playing one string. 
But when you're actually playing a piece, you can't, it's tricky to get your head around it. Uh, the other one are these little rolls. And uh, to be honest, they are really tricky. So you've got to do a cut, and then the opposite of a cut when you take a finger off. But all together. No. No, let me try it down here. <laughs> they're doing really quickly and I'm kind of all over the place there. But um, there, there are some that I've sort of salted into this tripping up the stairs and uh, <clears throat> I mean it does turn it into quite an intro, I mean it is tripping up and down the stairs and then getting run over by a bus. Uh, but we'll give it a go. <clears throat> I misread one of them, uh, but uh, yeah. So that they're, they're things I'm kind of looking at and hoping to to integrate. But obviously, that, I mean, there's a certain aspect of trying to run before you can um, walk or even crawl. Uh, <clears throat> okay, um, so uh, I'll finish this off with the swallowtail jig. Where what I've tried to do here is to uh, bring in some of the aspects of the Irish sort of lilt that da 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 sort of thing. Uh, at the moment, it's more just a dotted rhythm, but um, it's it's at least better than just the da 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 straight stuff that I was doing, or that I just did on that Irish washwoman. <laughs> I think that's enough to uh, to torment you with for this week. Um, next week uh, it will be week ten, and so um, ludicrously uh, I have decided to do a little live uh, session. So what I've, I'm doing is I'm making some backing tracks of the songs that we've done so far, and um, I'm just going to try and play along with those backing tracks uh, live stream from this uh, studio in lockdown and uh, and see how that goes. Um, I'm imagining it would go really awfully, but give it a go anyway. It is week 10 and uh, what have I got to lose? Uh, but in the meantime, great to see you and uh, cheers. Look after yourselves. Ciao. <laughs>